What do we got here? We've got a Soviet Cold War era general's uniform. All right. So what are you, a communist? Uh, no, I, I just like the, uh, that's very good. I barely remember the whole Cold War thing. I mean, I was born right at the end of it. Yeah, it is such a different world. Young people don't even realize what it was like back then, because I remember having nuclear bomb drills. Absolutely. What did a nuclear bomb drill consist of? Uh, getting underneath your desk, because that's going to save you from a nuclear bomb. Well, they use the buddy system. You call your buddy, you drop your drawers, and he kisses your ass goodbye. <laughs> that's true. You know, your grandpa was at the blockade of Cuba. Really? Yeah. You know, here's his ship, here's a Russian ship, and they both got their guns pointed at each other. And we had nuclear-tipped torpedoes, and they had nuclear-tipped torpedoes. The old man was probably trying to buy one off somebody. <laughs> <laughs> the Cold War was terrifying. We were literally on the brink of World War III for decades. It's amazing to think that the person who wore these uniforms was one of the bad guys. And how much do you want? I'd like to get $900,000. Well, I could do 800,000, not 900,000. No, no, or, no, no, I, I meant or 1,000. OK, I mean, well, I'm just going to forget you said 1,000, and we're going to start at 900. OK, you're tough, I'll tell you. Um, do you mind if I call someone up and look at them? Because I have no idea what they're worth. Oh, sure, yeah, okay. absolutely, please do. How you doing? Good, how are you, Corey? What's, What's up? new? This guy stole your dad's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is going to come as a surprise, but my dad was a little shorter than this. this these are huge. Holy smokes. So he's got some Soviet jackets, obviously for generals, I imagine. Can you tell me when they're made? Is there any cool ribbons there? Most of these medals are post-World War II. OK. Um, you do have an Order of Lenin here, which is important, right there in the first one. So we do have Order of Lenin. Yes, you do. The Order of Lenin is the highest civil award uh, given both to civilians and to the military for contribution to the motherland. It's impressive, and you'll notice it's first, because it's this guy's highest medal. OK. And as you know, Stalin killed most of his senior level leadership in the 30s, so most guys got their start as officers during World War II and after the war in the Cold War, okay. they rose through the ranks, like this guy. There was nothing cold about the Cold War. Uh, we almost lost civilization many times. Uh, the Soviets' idea of government was very different from our idea of government in the West. So immediately, there was a conflict. And we knew that was coming. What's most interesting about this piece is the history behind it. This guy was not in the military when he wore these uniforms because he was a member of the KGB. OK. This is, these are KGB uniforms. Um, the reason you can tell is they've got red piping. He was a colonel general, which is a three-star general. So this is not a guy you want to cross and make upset. OK. Yeah, he's definitely a big son of a <laughs> <laughs> KGB is state security service, not an organization you'd want to cross if you were living in Soviet Europe. Talk about Soviet control, you're talking about the KGB. Jackets, I can probably tell you exactly when they were made. Um, look at the buttons. They are often dated. This says um, 76. More or less at the height of Soviet power. At the height of Soviet power, these were made. So what are they worth? Uh, for the pair, 650 to 750. Yeah. It, it, it seems to me that it would be a heck of a lot more than that. Now that I know that that is an order of Lenin, that makes me even want to get more money for it. Uniforms like this don't attract the excitement that for example, World War II era uniforms attract. OK, it's just they're too damn new. Yeah, they're just new. I mean, maybe in 50 years, these things will be very valuable. Thanks for coming in, man. Hey, Rick, thanks. Appreciate it. Well, I'm not really happy about it. I thought it'd be worth like $1,000 at least. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 400 bucks for them. Look at it. It's got the order of Lenin. It can't go any better than that. I mean, you know, knowing... I, I wish I could. And I think 400 bucks is a fair price. Can't go five and a half? <sighs> no. I'll tell you what, I'll give you four and a quarter. How about 450? <sighs> I mean, I just don't know if they're going to sell. Um, Everything sells eventually, Pop. 
Yeah, I just don't want it to be eventually 20 years from now. I guess that'll be my problem, not yours, right? All right, we'll do 450, man. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. All right, he'll write you up. Meet me over Thank there. You. Thank you. $450 will probably get me uh, a bottle of wine and a couple of good nights stay when I might trip to Europe.